Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, Gala Games and the uh, part of this is regarding Townstar. So this may be a little boring if you're not interested in anything but Townstar, but this will affect you. Now, uh, if you're unaware, right now there is some, an event going on called GalaCon, and I think that that is affecting the price of Gala Token. The Gala token was, or Gala coin, I, I, I don't know if it's a coin or a token. I'd have to reread what, what I read about that. I'm sure a lot of you guys know. And if I'm saying, calling it the wrong thing, I apologize. But let's just call it Gala. So Gala is up to nine cents. It's been uh, down to like eight cents for a few days, I think. But Gala Games is um, sponsoring gala uh nft con and nft con is a three-day event it's online and uh i was watching it just so i could win some a spider tank they are giving away a will shark spider tank okay so or they were giving away like 15 of them and today's the last day so if you see this in time and you can find that uh, just search it on YouTube or go to the Discord and, and find the link to that. Um, but anyway, back back to what I was saying is uh, they also they interviewed Bitbender and they also interviewed John Oswald, who is president of games. Or yeah, he's president of games. He used to be president of. Uh, mobile gaming at Electronic Arts or EA and he, so he, he's very knowledgeable very experienced uh, man in his field although he, he's young looking he has quite a bit of experience uh, so anyway he was talking about the play to earn and we already knew about spider tanks I think I mentioned it in the NFT video that I did um, where you can loan out your spider tank to uh, people and you can set a price like if you want to say 50 50 then the person borrowing your um, tank gets to keep 50 percent of the rewards and they have to uh, and you get 50 percent of the rewards and so uh, you can set I think that that is uh, a, something that you can set. So like if you had an ancient tank and so uh, you have a, a high demand of people wanting to use your tank, then you could probably set it to like 80-20 uh, where you get 80% of the rewards and whoever uses it only gets 20%. But they'd probably be you know, willing to do it because they're going to probably win every match they're in. But anyway, so we already talked about that. And, no, and I guess you guys don't maybe don't care that much about spider tanks. So what he did say was that they're going to figure out something like that rental program for Townstar. So that means that if you have NFTs that either you don't have time to play, you don't, you're not interested in playing or whatever but you have nfts you can set up that same kind of a uh rental thing where somebody can use your nfts to um to make town coins so if you have an nft that for example it gives um 30 points or something like that you could rent it out and if you did a 50 50 rental then you would whoever rents it would get 15 and you would get 15. if you want to rent one then the reverse is true but it's the same thing like you would get the 15 and and whoever uh loaned it to you would get 15. so that is um that's something to look forward to if you uh, don't have NFTs or whatnot. That doesn't mean you can't do the play to earn. 
people may be like loaning them out. Now, um, I think that everybody um, saw the changes. I did tell you about the, the coin being up, right? So uh, that's exciting right there. But um, so the updates to uh, Gala Games inventory. Uh, I think that you all are aware that um, they're having their own blockchain. So we won't have to use Ethereum and pay the high gas fees unless you want to take it outside of the Gala ecosystem. So um, the Gala chain is coming. <clears throat> and so um, what I think is going to happen now I don't know this for sure, but I think what's going to happen is you can see how it's segregated where you have an ETH um, amount and then you have a GC or Gala Chain amount. Now, if you leave it in the Gala Chain, I think what they're going to do is make it so that uh, it, it says uh, in this article that it, it would be... Uh, very low cost and so um, I'm not sure what how much that will be but what I'm thinking it would be would be it would be gala tokens so you know maybe for one to ten gala tokens or something you would be able to uh, to mint something um, or make transactions like you would potentially, if you want to buy an NFT with your Gala that's on the Gala chain, you would be able to use that in the Gala store, and then the gas fee would be, you know, a couple of Gala. It wouldn't be a crazy amount, but I don't know that for sure. And it, it says that once Gala chain is released several months from now, and I thought it was going to be sooner, so I hope I didn't set anybody up for disappointment in that. But uh, I'm reading, this was dated October 1st, and I'm reading right here. Once Gala Chain is released, several months from now, players will uh, be able not only to transfer items or tokens from Gala Chain to ETH, but also send items slash tokens to other players uh, Gala Chain's inventory. Remember that Gala Chain will be completely separate blockchain where items and coins are minted. So that sounds like a great thing. Um, now when it comes to renting NFTs, one thing that I am not sure about is like uh, things like skins. Right now they don't allow you to use skins. They don't count any town coin. So will you be able to to rent skins because there is no you know amount that there you can actually say that they're earning. So uh, I don't know all the ins and outs of that but at least the things that they say that you can earn with will be you'll be able to to borrow them so to speak from other players or loan them out to other players uh, whichever suits what you're trying to do now we're talking about gala chain so i want to go ahead and talk to you a little bit about my thoughts on gala chain Okay, so this article um, was published also on October the 6th, and it says, We made Tree and Gala Games sign MOU. And MOU, for people who don't understand or don't have knowledge of what that means, it's Memorandum of Understanding. And basically what a memorandum of understanding is, and I apologize to people who are bored with this part of the conversation, but not everybody knows what that means. 
uh, the memorandum of understanding is a um, it's a document it's so it's it will like weigh heavily if you had a court case but it is not like a a real contract it's um, just an agreement to sort of work together I apologize for switching back. It's like um, when I pause the game uh, and I have been dry throat coughing this morning, so I have to pause it so y'all don't have to hear that. So I apologize for that. Okay, we made Tree, the blockchain subsidiary of massive Korea based gaming company, we made. And Gala Games, the fastest growing blockchain gaming platform in the world, have signed an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, agreeing to work together on current and future projects designed to promote worldwide growth and awareness of blockchain gaming. Using its WeMix blockchain platform, WeMixNetwork.com, uh, so if you want to know about uh, this, just go to WeMixNetwork.com, all one word, um, which currently boasts the acclaimed Mir 4 Global and several other gaming titles. Now, that that's a pretty big game right there. Uh, that are throughout the world. We Made Tree now plans to work together with Gala Games through cross-functional in-game items, NFTs, and more. Now, uh, the We Made Tree, in my opinion, and you may draw the same opinion, uh, is going to bring the Gala Chain uh, know-how to Gala Games, but let's let's see what else they say. And it says um, it says we made tree now plans to work together with Gala Games through cross-functional in-game items, uh, NFTs, and more. Now. When it says cross-functional, I don't know if that means cross-functional as far as the as far as things on the Gala Games network, or if um, it means like cross-functional with We Made Tree as well, which may mean that you know if you win a sword in Mirror Four. Uh, then can you use that sword in Miranda's, for example? Uh, I, I don't know, but I kind of would assume that it's talking about cross-functional between Gala Games. So kind of like they have Townstar and then all of a sudden they let uh, Vox, people bring their Vox in, or the Vox is, is set to be its own universe. So, this is cross-functional in-game uh, play right there. Okay, so that to me is not 100% clear. And so, you can uh, draw your own conclusions. But it says the MOU of these uh, two successful blockchain projects includes plans to integrate cross-utilization of in-game items on both platforms. So that does sound like like WeMix will be able to make items for the Gala platform and the items that you get on the Gala platform will be usable on the um, WeMix platform. Okay, so and collaboration in non-fungible tokens, NFT business development. Additionally, the two companies will work together to develop and run blockchain-backed games and cooperate on worldwide advancement of blockchain technology. And so, another thing that you might consider is, 
if you've got your gala or your your town coin or your tank coin or whatever coins they make you may be able to use those coins to buy stuff on Wii Mix and then use those games in the gala chain or uh, or, you know, in your games, like you might be able to buy the sword, like I, meant, I mentioned, and then um, use it in your in a game on Gala Games. And so the, the, this right here, to me, is a huge thing to say that they're uh, working with cross-utilization of in-game items on both platforms. That that sounds like um, it's going to be, you know, uh, that's going to be huge, in my opinion. So the joining forces of, uh, between these two companies has the potential to bring the empower empowerment of blockchain gaming to greater numbers of players worldwide than ever before. Both parties will work together in the near future to discuss the terms and conditions of these agreements, and both parties are confident that this cooperation will provide an incredible opportunity to reciprocally extend their reach throughout the world. Now, this kind of thing, there's one thing that I really dislike uh, about Townstar other than the cheating and I, I don't know if they've changed it so cheating is not as prevalent. I know that this week I have slowly been dropping out of the top 50 and it's, it's I, you know, I don't know. I've rebooted my laptop. I've um, cleared my cache restarted my laptop and and got back in there and it's still dropping. I don't know what's going on um, with it. And so I don't know if it's people cheating and getting in there, if there's something. Somebody had said you can't run uh, Townstar on a laptop. And so I thought, well, I always do, but maybe that's why I always start dropping at a certain point but this week it seems to be uh, pretty bad okay so um, <clears throat> enough about that but what I was getting at is the concerns that uh, that I have with the game are the, the spot that you get when you get logged in I think some people are using a script to get a spot, so maybe they're just a little bit quicker uh, than the rest of us, but it it is impossible to get a good spot. Now, if they open this uh, market up and they get more, a lot more players in here, then that problem on the, um, on the competition server may be um, much worse. So I don't know if their plan is to add more, more of the weekly competition servers or not. Um, I would think that maybe if they, if they don't, if they can't afford to spend more, then maybe add like two, two or three more servers and divide the total amount across those things. I mean, that way people can still get some tokens, but it's the game is way more fun to me if I can pick my spot and get a decent spot that I enjoy using instead of, you know, starting off being a little disgruntled because I got a crappy spot and then I, I never end up feeling good about the the build. So uh, that that's just my viewpoint and I don't want to bring anybody down but hopefully they will do something about that. Now uh, it says about We Made and We Made is the company that owns We Made Tree which is the one that we have the agreement with. 
So let, let's make that distinction. We made is uh, the parent company of We Made Tree. And We Made Tree is the um, subsidiary that has uh, the blockchain know-how. And that is who we have the agreement with, the blockchain part of We Made. So We Made is a well-established game company with a global presence. Traditional business have revenue streams from game services and license fees for popular game titles. IP, I don't know what IP means, but including uh, Quan Key, even though uh, the game service itself is globally oriented, the current business environment is still very broken relying on local players for publishing, marketing, and especially payment. Now, if you guys, okay, so I've never heard of Quan Key. If you go, and I may not be saying that right. It may be Shuan Key, but uh, I'm not very um, worldly in a lot of things like that. If you guys know of any games that they are that we made is associated with whether they are the publisher or they uh, own the games or whatever uh, put that in the comments and let us know I mean I I'm interested in knowing what all is going on with uh, with Gala Games here but anyway it says uh, using native platform tokens as a means of exchange opens up one truly global marketplace and enables borderless peer-to-peer -peer transactions by connecting users from all over the world. This complements their existing business model as a global platform service provider and provides more significant value to their game players. We Made Tree is a subsidiary of We Made dedicated to the blockchain business. We Made Tree will lead the blockchain space by leveraging the expertise and strength of the WeMake group. Okay, about WeMix. Okay, sorry about that. Um, WeMix is a blockchain based global game platform developed by WeMake Tree as its flagship blockchain game service division. So, that is what we were seeing about the WeMix network uh, above, let's see, what was it? WeMixNetwork.com, okay. And that's where MIR4, uh, MIR4 is. Okay, so WeMix is a blockchain based global game platform developed by WeMadeTree as its flagship blockchain game service division. WeMix is a platform for gaming D apps and that's decentralized applications for anybody uh, who's new to crypto I know I had to learn that uh, not that long ago that provides users with a wallet and marketplace for digital assets fungible tokens and non fungible tokens and uh, this distinction is fungible tokens are like your coins or whatever where they're exactly identical like one gala token is the same as another gala token um, whereas the non-fungible tokens would be like uh, the character that you have in the game and that's going to keep up with you know the particular level that it is the particular um, attributes that maybe have changed um, due to the leveling up and, and whatnot so uh, Non-fungible tokens are where you have uh, items that are not identical. Like, I could give you um, an elf from Mirandus, and you could give me an elf, and they might not be the same. They might be, both be, you know, different levels, have different uh, strengths and weaknesses or whatever. And that would be an example of a non-fungible token. Okay, so WeMix wants to foster a blockchain game ecosystem 
with the experiential value of users at its core. And so that, um, I don't know why they say experiential value. I, uh, I guess they feel like uh, they have experience in having uh, users at the core of their games. I, I don't know what that means. Uh, but anyway, the uh, we mix. it sounds like, is we made trees um, arm of the, the the business like Gala Games. So I would say We Mix is kind of like Gala Games and We Made Tree is kind of going to be underneath with the blockchain um, know-how. And so I think that the the Gala Chain and the We Made, chain, uh, we made Tree are going to be uh, they're going to be the same software, the same everything, and so they're going to run together uh, seamlessly, and you'll be able to uh, pass uh, things back and forth. And it says that Gala Games was uh, Gala Games founder Eric Shearmeyer uh, is the co-founder of Zynga, and he was also the co-founder of MySpace. I don't know if any of you guys are old enough to remember that. I remember that um, when my daughter was uh, getting around high school age, I believe, is when I found out about MySpace. That was something she was into. Uh, so building the largest decentralized network of gamers in the world using blockchain technology and employing a wealth of experience from the professional gaming industry, Gal Games aims to empower players through ownership on a, an economy of rewards and an unmatched gaming experience. And so I think we're all pretty uh, thankful to have Gala Games in our lives uh, and we enjoy playing Town Star and earning and I'm sorry if some of the times I come and talk about it and it sounds like all I'm doing is saying negative things. I, I don't mean to be negative about the game, but I don't have to go through and tell everybody, okay, this is how fun it is, and this is, you know, all the good things about it. I just sometimes point out the things that are, are the negative, because it may be things that you don't know about, but I hope that this has uh, enlightened you on uh, things that are in the works, things that are coming. Like I said, go out to remixnetwork.com and check out what they've got in the mirror for. I'm excited to think that some of these uh, in-game items and and uh, tokens and whatnot can can just be change back and forth um, it, it's kind of like um, you know some of the games that are out on this other network maybe games that that I want to try out and I haven't wanted to really buy anything so uh, I, I might could get some items with my gala and try them out and if I don't like them sell it to other players for gala and get my gala back and so then in essence it doesn't cost me anything to go out and try something new uh, and you know this to me is is great it's growing the network it's bringing more people in more people for us to play with more people for us to you know uh, sell or buy to or interact however 
uh, it's meant for us to interact. So I just wanted to um, talk a little bit about this stuff today in case you guys haven't seen it. And um, I think I just wanted to also clarify when I realized that I had been talking about the gala chain and and it being soon and then I, I saw this several months from now so I, I just wanted to also clarify that but let you know why it's going to take so long I think because they they're working with uh, We Made Tree which has the technology but now they have to kind of be able to integrate the two platforms um, using this uh, technology that they have, uh, the flagship blockchain game service division. So their flagship blockchain game service software uh, so that we can Oh wait, that's the service. But the the We Made Tree is the uh, the actual blockchain uh, business. Okay. So anyway, I hope that was uh, news to everybody. If you have anything further to comment, if you could read some of this stuff in spite of me and you understand it better than I do, uh, some of this stuff I need explained to me, but I don't have anybody to explain it. So if you know about it, uh, if you got anything to add, any thoughts or comments, leave them in the comment below and I'll get back to you. And if you can think of anything else that maybe you want to see a video about, if it's within my knowledge, um, I definitely am willing to make a video about that. Um, so, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.